everybody, Brad Eaton here from the Dirt Podcast. We're back down here on the field at Day Air Ballpark, joined again by another one of our Dragons players today, relief pitcher Donovan Benoit. Donovan, nice to meet you. You too. Thanks so much. Well, let's take a walk here and learn a little bit more about you. So you're one of our relievers, right? So you're kind of telling me when you go into the game, you're not necessarily sure exactly what role on any date you're going to be serving. So how do you get yourself prepared for that? Um, you know, it kind of starts with uh, the coaches, you know, BG, our pitching coach, and Brian Conger, Casey Weathers. They do a really good job implementing the type of throwing program and how to, like, really help your arm in a, uh, like during a season. Um, you know, it's easy to throw a lot, uh, but they kind of give us, like, boundaries and guidelines to kind of help us make sure we're always healthy throughout the season. Yeah, because if it was up to you, you'd be pitching every day, right? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not always the best for the arm strength definitely and for injuries not. and those kind of things, right? No, definitely not. Yeah, so tell us about, I mean, you've pitched a lot of cool places, right? You went to Tulane, obviously a, a big school, but what's it like when you pitch at a ballpark here, like Dare Ballpark? Uh, you know, it's super cool. It's, uh, it kind of hits you like, wow, like I'm actually playing like professional baseball. Yeah. Um, you know, you have all the different things going on between innings. Um, you're playing against guys that you've you've heard of on TV and mm -hmm. um, big time draft names coming out of high school, and you're like, it's pretty surreal. So it's definitely a very cool experience. So you were a tenth rounder, right, last year in the in the 2021 draft. So you've got you know you've got some of that clout, but do you bring anything like that into like mentally, like hey, I I know I you know I belong here, things like that. Like what what gets you motivated, and what what keeps you knowing that you can compete at this level? Um. I would definitely say, you know, 10th round is obviously not one through nine. Mm -hmm. So I guess you have kind of that chip on the shoulder, but also very thankful to even get selected. Yeah. Um, but every day you go out and it's, uh, it's just kind of like an interview. You know, you go out and perform and hopefully you do what you need to do to, to get called up. So it's, uh, it's, it's definitely exciting every time you go out there and throw, but yeah. uh, you kind of can't think about that stuff when you go out, you just got to go play baseball. So tell us about your season this year. What are some of the things that you're focusing on here in your first kind of full year as a pro? Uh, I would say definitely just learning the schedule. Um, we play six days a week and then sometimes the off day you're traveling. So it is a lot, uh, but you have to kind of learn how to, you know, maintain, you know, body weight, sleep, um, health with the arm. So that's definitely super fun. Um, and, you know, just hanging out with the guys and just playing baseball. So it's Nothing too crazy, right? Uh, no, it's been a pretty awesome year, obviously, too, so that's got to help, Matt, right? You yeah, get a lot definitely. of wins. Winning solves a lot of things, right? It does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Tell us about what the clubhouse is like, what the guys are like, what, you know, from your point of view. Um, you know, I think there's obviously different groups just because you hang out with different people during the game. So mm -hmm. it's uh, a lot of the position players kind of hang out with themselves. A lot of the pitchers hang out with themselves, but there's definitely no divide. It's, uh, I mean, we're winning, so obviously we're having, we have really great chemistry in the clubhouse, and everybody's a good person so things are going well everything's going good <laughs> great tell me about what life is like for you outside of the ballpark right i know you spend a lot of time here this time of the year but what's it like when you're not at the ballpark what kind of things you like to do um you know definitely just kind of enjoying like the downtime mm -hmm. um like play a little bit video games you know like to go play golf starting to do that a little bit more um but yeah like as of that right now it's pretty much just those two things and then coming to the field and playing baseball, so that's... Well, you're a pitcher, so you have to be a golfer too, right? Have to be a golfer, especially, <laughs> right? Awesome. Well, hey, congratulations on everything so far. Thank keep you. the uh, Keep the season up. We're looking forward to a great second half from you guys. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me.